Hi. I'm just trying to get through all the literature that I need to read in order to write the next paper. Um, and there's really a lot of it. I mean, there's so many books and so many papers published every single year that it's practically impossible to read that in any sort of details. And on top of that, to, you know, take notes on it, kind of digest it, understand it, and then paraphrase it, put it in, you know, in your papers and stuff like this. I mean, it's, it's mad, really. I mean, in any single field, there's probably hundreds of research papers being published every single day. How on earth are you going to ever get through all of those books papers and things. Well, one way to do that is to read more effectively and read faster. And that's why in this video, I want to show you exactly how you can really speed up your academic reading so that you can write more papers, write about the thesis and have a much more thorough literature review. So let's check it out. If you're new to this channel, my name is Marek Kiczkowek and I run Academic English Now, where I help early career researchers write more research papers. So in this video, I want to look at how you can get through, you know, this mountain of books and papers in your field in a much more efficient, productive and pleasant manner. So the first thing that you really need to do if you want to be able to get through, you know, all these books and papers that are published in your field is you want to be very strategic about your reading. So a big mistake that, you know, especially early career researchers make or students make is that they kind of, you know, try to read everything or they, you know, they look at the mountain of literature surrounding them and they don't even know where to start reading. Right. So the, the first thing that you have to do is to look just at the titles and the abstract of the papers that you're that you're going to read. So when you've done the database search and you've got like, you know, it probably gave you um, hundreds of papers to read. Just look at the titles and scan the titles. Are the titles relevant to what you actually want to achieve? If they aren't, just get rid of that and don't don't even look at it. If they are, then you want to click on it and then just look at the abstract. Why do we just want to look at the abstract? Because the abstract is like, you know, a one paragraph summary of the entire paper. So this is a very efficient way of, you know, getting the gist of what that paper is about and deciding whether it makes sense to read the rest of the paper. So just scan the abstract and decide, is it relevant? to my current research or not relevant. If it's not relevant, you obviously don't want to read anything else. If it is, then um, save it somewhere um, for later reading. Now, the next really important tip is to clarify to yourself why you are reading. So the mistake that I see a lot of people making is that they kind of, they read. And if you ask them, well, why are you reading? Well, because I have to do the literature review. So I have to read, right? But this is, this is madness. That's why, you know, it takes you so much time to read. You've got to have a clear goal in mind why you're reading something, be it a paper or be it a specific book, right? And what do I mean by a specific goal? Well, for example, maybe you're interested in finding, you know, um, the research gaps, right? And you want to know what research gaps there are in the literature. And I've got another video in here where I explain exactly what a research gap is and how to find it and you can check it out. But you know, when you're reading papers for a research gap, there are basically two places where you want to look. The first one is the introduction, because in the introduction to a paper, researchers will point out what current research gaps they see. And then you want to look at the conclusion or the discussion section because the researchers will point out the limitations of the study. And this gives you, you know, what you're, what you're looking for. And you don't have to, you even shouldn't read the rest of the paper. Now, to give you another example, you know, let's say you're writing your literature review and you find yourself missing a particular piece of information. Like maybe, you know, you need a particular um, statistic on something like, you know, how many PhD students there are currently in the UK, 
right? So, you know, you need to take a note of, uh, for yourself of that. And then, you know, when you're reading the literature, you just want to look for that specific piece of information, which means that you probably just want to scan results of, you know, of particular papers where that information might be. You're not interested in the introduction. You're not interested in the literature review or the methodology of those papers because that's just pointless. What you're looking for is exactly how many PhD students there are currently in the UK. So just look at the results section of that particular paper to find that information. And just this one thing, you know, being clear to yourself on why exactly I am reading. This will speed up your reading so much, it's not even funny, I promise you. Now, another tip is to use the headings, right? And this works both for books and for papers. So if we if we look, for example, at, you know, let's say um, a book, right? So you're looking for a specific piece of information, right? And, you know, you can easily see from, from the contents, right? in here or from the, the titles in a paper where that specific information is going to be. And again, you know, it would be pointless to read the whole book if you can just very quickly find uh, the piece of information that you're looking for, right? Um, so, you know, I'm just going to jump to that, um, to that particular chapter, right? Open it up for myself. And then what I can do as well is to look at the, you know, at the subtitles in here. Right, so that's you know, what I'm interested in, um, psychology of subject matter, right, or research on teaching grammar in language classes. That's exactly what I want to be looking at. So I'm just going to start reading here, right, um, because I don't need all the other information. So look at the headings and use the headings to help yourself identify, you know, which part of the text you want to be looking at. Now, related to that, the, the following tip that will really help you as well, once you are on a, on a particular section, right, of a, of a research paper or a book, like in here, what you want to do is basically read the first sentence of each paragraph. Why the first sentence? Because the, the first sentence expresses the main idea of that paragraph. And typically it will, you know, just scanning the first sentences of each paragraph will allow you to understand kind of the gist and identify which paragraph contains the information that you're looking for. And once you've found that paragraph, then you can zoom in on it, right? And then read it in more detail. That's another tip. Now, one other really important tip that I want to give you is, you know, it's kind of related to the headings and everything, but it's, you know, it's going to even further speed up your reading. And in here, what you want to do is just search for specific keywords. So let's say, you know, again, you're, you're looking for, you know, specific piece of information, right? Again, maybe you want to find out how many PhD students there are currently in the UK. And you've downloaded a report and that report has hundred pages and it's got you know a lot of information about a lot of stuff about you know universities what subjects they teach you know master students postdocs PhDs and stuff like this but you know you don't want to read the whole thing then because it's irrelevant so what you want to do is just use the the search function in your PDF reader and type in PhD students for example or whatever particular topic you're looking at and then find it in the text, right? And of course, the reader will give you all the all the instances of that. And like that, very quickly, you can just identify um, that information, right? So this will really help you further speed up your reading. And the last tip that I want to give you as well is not to kind of get fixated on or focus on words that you don't know, right? Whenever, whenever you read something, there, there will always be words that are new to you, that maybe you don't understand and things like that. But when you're reading, you know, 90% of the time, you can either figure that word out from the context or that word isn't necessary for you to understand, you know, what the paragraph is about. Um, and you don't need to look it up in a dictionary. So just like kind of when I read, be it in English or in other languages, you know, most of the time when I don't know a word, I just kind of ignore it and I continue reading because I'm looking for a specific piece of information. And 90% of the time, that word isn't needed for me to understand what the researcher actually is talking about, right? 
So in this video, I went over some tips that will help you really speed up your reading process. And if you're interested in working with me more personally, then book a free one-to-one -one strategy session. And the link is somewhere below this video and in the description. And in that strategy session, we're going to identify what your specific problems are, um, what you want to achieve, and then we're also going to outline a personalized plan to help you achieve your goals faster. And then if it sounds like it's a good fit for us, then we can talk a little bit further about how exactly I could help you achieve your um, research goals faster. So if you're interested in that, book that free strategy session and the link is somewhere in the description of this video.